hello thank you for checking out mr wares videos and today we are graphing uh ax plus by equals c from intercepts okay this is standard form in a previous video we talked about y equals mx plus b and in this video we're talking about standard form we're going to graph a uh, a linear equation here from standard form using the intercepts so before I go into that though I want to break down something okay understand that we're graphing and we've got a x axis and a y axis right and it does points on here and that there are let's say now I'm making up a point here let's say you got one comma two this is x and this is y okay now in the formula y equals mx plus b, there's an x and a y. In this formula here, ax plus by equals c, there's an x and a y. The x and the y from these two equations is the same x and y that's in points. It's not something different. It's the same x and y. It could be different x and y's, but you're plugging in x and y in, in, in the context of the equation. Okay. So let's take a look at this first example, and I'm going to show you how to graph from intercepts. And basically what we're doing here is this. When x is 0, what would y be? Because if x is 0, then we'll be on this line. It's not 1, 2, 3. It's not negative 1, 2, 3. It's 0. So y would have to be on this line. So you would get a point somewhere here. And if y is zero what would x be x would be somewhere on this line but it won't be up or down because y is zero so it'll be somewhere on this line so what we're going to do is plug in zeros for x and then zeros for y and then determine what the uh what the x is when y is zero or what the y is when x is zero so we'll take a look at the first example here all right so um, it says drag the red and blue dots along the x axis and the y axis to graph uh, 4x plus 9y equals 6. So don't pay any attention to this line here the way this is now because um, you're going to drag this line or drag these dots to the right intercept and then draw a new line. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So we're going to do this equation twice. We're going to do, um, let me change this to black. We'll do 4x plus y plus 9y is equal to 36. And we're going to do 4x, get a little bit more space, 4x plus 9y is equal to 36. Okay, and on both of these, we're going to plug in zero. It's just that simple. So, uh, now we're going to figure out what X is going to be when Y is zero, and we're going to figure out what Y is going to be when X is zero. So, we're going to solve it from there. So, nine times zero is zero. So, that leaves zero, and we bring down the 4X is equal to 36 and then divide by 4 to find out what x is. So x is equal to 9. So our point is going to be 9, because x is 9, comma, 0 for y. That's one point. And you remember, we need two points to draw a line. So we got one, we'll get the other one. So 4 times 0 is going to be 0, and we bring down the 9y. And we just solve for y now. So when x is 0, y is uh, 4. So we got other point, 0, 4. And now you got to do is plot those two points here. We've got x is 9 and y is 0. As a matter of fact, let me change some colors here. 
and then here we've got x is 0 and y is 4 so in the on the delta math you would just drag those to those different spots and the line would just draw for you but that's what a line should be so this is let me make sure I say this right graphing ax plus by equals c with intercepts so we're graphing from the standard form with x and y intercepts so let's take a look at another example okay if you like you could pause the video here and see if you can solve it on your own all right so let's take a look at this one so again, we're going to set up two problems here. We're going to have negative 6x plus 7. That's a 7 there, in case you didn't know. 7y is equal to 28. And... We're going to have negative 6x plus 7y is equal to 28. All right, so we're going to plug in 0 for 7, and we'll plug in 0 for 6 here. Okay, I'm going to do the 6 one first. All right. And I'm going to come back and do 7 times 0 here. All right, so I'll plug this in. Negative 6 times 0 is 0. That's going to leave me with 7y. Change my color back. Is equal to 28. And then divide by 7. And y is equal to 4. So when x is 0, y is 4. All right. So here, we'll do 7 times 0, and you get 0, and you're left with negative 6x is equal to 28, and then divide by negative 6, and then negative divided by negative is a positive, and then here, positive divided by negative is a negative, and then 28 divided by negative 6 is going to get us a decimal. Okay, and that decimal, if I'm change my sign from equal to close to because I'm around. And around two decimal places here, negative 4.67. Alright, so when y is 0, x is negative 4.67. Alright, so we're going to graph. So I'm going to graph this one first here. X is negative 6.7. You're going to come about here, somewhere a little bit past midway. And then on this one, on the Y axis, we're going to go up 0, 4. And then draw a line. Let's see if I can draw that a little better. All right, so don't let the ones that come out with decimals throw you off. Um, you just round it to two decimal places, estimate your spot there, and then uh, continue plotting your line there. And that's it. That's uh, taking the standard form of an equation and graphing with the x and y intercepts. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.